I greet you in the spirit of Sawabana. Even although you're on a very small screen in your groupings, I see you. I love you. I know you. And you the same for us here at the southern tip of Africa. It is from this place of knowing one another and loving one another and being awake together that we inherit something very, very precious. We inherit the voice and the attitudes and the empowering nature of love itself. And we may speak into our world, both within ourselves and beyond ourselves, the world of human experience, from this part of us, of us who knows, who loves, who is awake, and actually who never dies. When you and I were born as an infant into this biosphere, planet Earth, we came as that one who never dies. We came as an angel incarnating into human flesh and when we leave the sphere, that's exactly where we will find ourselves once again, still connected, commissioned, and capable of doing a job together. Again, I say it's such a beautiful privilege and pleasure to converse, to connect, to engage from the standpoint of that highest dimension available to us in this world that is our spiritual heritage, legacy, and destiny. It may sound strange to share the thought that before an infant comes into this world, he or she knew ahead of time that they were commissioned to fulfill a purpose. Isn't that an amazing thought? But we are born into this world from this standpoint as angels to a, awaken to a remembrance because we do come into what seems to be a sea of amnesia of sleeping humanity. But we kind of reawaken at some point once we've had a, enough of a dose of the oppressive nature of the survival culture in a world that has lost its ability to see, Sawabona, I see you, to love, I love you, you love me, we love one another. That's our, that's our power to know that. And being awake to that, we have the capacity at our hand, the capacity of our emotional and thinking realms to receive the voice of that one we are who incarnated into this human family. And we have something to say together. We understand the nature of the job and the world that we came into. And we recognize that there is a crying need in the wilderness of the human soul and to once again know one another, to reflect in the radiance of who we truly are, the oneness of our shared being on this planet. So as I say, it's my privilege to introduce this conversation, a conversation amongst human beings, but human beings who know their angelic nature and the voice of the angel who lives within the very core of each of us. So let's continue in this beautiful time together and bring some order out of the chaos of self-serving, distorted, cruel governance and listen to the voice of the angel who lives, who's in the very midst of our presence and in, e and in each one and discover what it is we are saying and would say 
to human hearts and minds, starting with our own.